Well, it's great to see you both. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but you do have daughters, so, you know, no research necessary. You yes. kind of know what we're going through in this, yeah. right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more. Um, well, I know, I know when I was given the script, I thought the script was really funny, but more than that, I have, at the time, my daughter, she's four now, but she was two when I got mm -hmm. the script. And I just remember thinking, like, I look at her and I just think she's, like, perfect and beautiful and funny and just happy yeah. <laughs> and that my fear like even though I'm a progressive parent is that like what happens the day that she decides to have sex like will she be okay will she be mm -hmm. happy will it be a good experience for her will she love herself and so I really all was questions, all right? these questions and I, I felt like this script um, brought all that out for me mm -hmm. and and then I know for you it was it brought out uh, yeah. well I was going through I was dropping my daughter off at college when, oh, okay so it was right spot before on. I started shooting this movie yeah so it was um, I could completely relate. <laughs> <laughs> She's quite an endearing character, but I just want to compliment the jumper with the lemons. I think Did this you was like, like that? I really, that's so great. Really love that. <laughs> so how much does styling those types of character kind of put you in the mood with who she is and what her past is, etc.? Styling, like the uh, yeah. Um, well, I and, and you wore it all the way through. You know, it was a consistent. I did. Yeah. I did. Um, yeah, I mean, when I look at myself in the mirror, dressed in that getup, it it made me feel a little more like a, like a crazy Lisa character, and <laughs> <laughs> oh. so it was helpful. <laughs> yeah. Well, both of you throughout your projects have made people laugh so much. Are you able to gauge, you know, when it's the right moment to put a joke, and how how do you know that things work and don't, especially when you're filming? Yeah, sometimes you don't know. Mm -hmm. Like some, you just that's why you do shoot a lot of different versions of things. I remember thinking that there's the scene where Lisa's caught in the hotel room and she gets shocked and she falls down on the ground. Yeah. And I, I remember thinking on the day, I was like, no one's going to laugh at this. <laughs> you did. <laughs> and then it's like one of the biggest laughs of the movie. Like uh, people love it so much. And I, I, I remember the first preview and hearing people laugh and I was like, <gasps> I what I what I don't know I know nothing. <laughs> but kudos that, to the good acting. <laughs> yeah, but and also like that's that's the that's the journey that's the adventure is like yeah. that's why you do a bunch of different versions you try a bunch of different things in front of audiences and mm -hmm. see what works and what mm -hmm. doesn't. Mm -hmm. Do you add things throughout like you know she gets electrocuted or stuff like yeah I don't want to give anything away to the audience but mm -hmm. you know do you add your own little touches? Little touches? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, I, yeah, I mean, I don't know what specifically, but we're all adding little things as we go. It's like, uh, you know, we're all collaborating to create, you know, the thing that, that makes the most sense and feels right. Everyone thinks that John Cena is a very serious guy, which he might be <laughs> in, in certain ways, but you've made him do things in this film that are super hilarious and, and a lot of fun, and he loved it. So how did you get to that, and how much fun was it to be part of it? What was so fun was that John would do anything, anything. I said. <laughs> he, <won. laughs> he really would. And so like I could be, I could just be like, hey, what did da, 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 this? And he's like, you got it, coach. <laughs> and he would do it. He it was would. so great, kind of crazy that way. Yes. Yeah. He would probably do it now. Oh, for now he would definitely <laughs> even more. Uh, yeah, mm. I remember being like really shy with him at the beginning because you you don't know. I didn't know him that well, and you don't know how far you can push someone. And then at the end, like one of the last scenes we shot, it was I was like, you gotta take it take off, take your hands off. And he was like, you got it. <laughs> Coach. <laughs> and what did you think of him? Having worked, it was it the first time? Obviously, you worked with him. Yeah, um, he he's just so professional. He's so disciplined. He's so, I'm just fascinated like by his <laughs> diet and the like times that he eats during the day and his workouts and like it's, it's really, cause I have no discipline <laughs> and he's all discipline. And so, um, you know, he was just great to work with, like super prepared and every day and happy, never in a bad mood, yeah. no, just great. Couldn't, Hopefully. couldn't have been better. Not like that Ike. I was going to say, what was it like working with Ike? <laughs> we, don't, we don't talk enough about Ike in this movie. I know. Yeah, well, hopefully he, he won't get you to do like morning runs on the sequel, you know, blockers to the return. No. Oh. Bless keep, your heart. Keep, keep, keep blocking that cock. <laughs> keep blocking that cock. More cock and blocking. <laughs>